In season two, you can expect uh, a lot of drama. Of course, it's Jane the Virgin. Hopefully by the end of the season, it'll just be Jane and the Virgin will be scratched out. The baby's gonna come back. She's gonna pick either Michael or Raphael. There's gonna be a wedding. Will you? Michael, I'm pregnant. What is that? What does that mean? What is that? We've been told that once she gets married, she's gonna lose her virginity. So I'm, I think it'll happen by the end of the season. I just don't know who it's gonna be with. When we shot the pilot and I met the cast and I fell in love with everybody, I was just so grateful that we were gonna have a half a season to get to do this crazy show. When we got nominated for the Golden Globe, I remember, I mean, I, I woke up and I was in bed with my wife and Gina called me at 5 a.m. because she was nominated and I looked at my phone and I was just, I started crying. Because I was so grateful. Because when you put so much love into something, you don't know if people are going to respond. And most of the time, you know, it's hit or miss. Everyone's a critic. To be an actor in L.A., like, getting a job is hard. Getting a pilot that gets picked up is even harder. And getting a pilot that gets picked up that is a hit is impossible. So to know that we're one of those few that have been given this gift, that we can then turn around and give that gift back has just been, I mean, it's just been a, a joy. When we got nominated, it was almost like that. It was like when your, your dad tells you he loves you. Love you, baby. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, me too. It felt like, wow, people actually really love us. And then when we started getting recognized and the fans would come up to us and they would, they wouldn't be like fangirling out. They would be like, thank you. I love your show. I had a horrible day and it made me happy. Those are the moments that make this all worthwhile. To know that like we're actually making a small difference in someone's life.